I'm gonna show you guys how to tear down a jog type motor, a two-stroke motor. So this is the same motor you're gonna find in Yamaha Zuma, the genuine buddy is what it came out of. Here's our buddy. Yeah, twist and goes, the Venice twist and goes. <laughs> Step one, let's remove this exhaust. That'll be like the first thing to do. Let's do that real quick. There's gonna be spacers back here. Don't lose your spacer if you have one. A lot of times you don't. Wow, that was loose. Pretty loose. Then up under here, we got some 10 millimeter nuts there. See if we can get those. Might not be able to get those all the way with this impact. That got one. I don't think we're gonna be able to get the other one though. Get the other one. These were double nutted, which is good for, they won't come loose that way. But I just pulled the whole stud out with it. Normally the nut just comes off of there. Okay, I'm gonna pull this cover off. This is the cooling shroud. Two 10 millimeters over here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These two come off just like that. Some, uh, some of the jog motors only have one. Flip this around. We're still caught over here. Well, 10 millimeter or an eight millimeter there. And there's one right here that's broken. And you can pull your whole cowl off. And then I screw those back in. Okay, now we're gonna pull this uh, cylinder off. That's just a 10 millimeter. You wanna do it in a star pattern? So there to there to there to there. We can just set those aside. Give that a little wiggle. There we go. Pull that off. That all looks decent in there. And then just give this a little pull. Just like that. Like I said. Let's get in there and pull this piston uh, pin clip out. There goes that pin. And just push from the other side with a screwdriver. Shouldn't take much force. Okay, we'll pull that off. Just like that, and then, then pull the bearing out as well. So here's our crank. Okay, here's our beautiful crank cases, all ready to go. Make sure it's all cleaned up. Here's our gasket. We just want to make sure we match the gasket up. There's a big square mark, a square mark up there. And then you just kind of work it a little bit each way. And then you have to lift this guy up. And that guy's installed. All right, so uh, we're ready to do our top end. And then we've got the old piston, but new piston rings and the uh, cylinder has been honed. So, um, we're ready to put the, I already got one piston ring on, I just wanted to show you how to do this. Um, if you notice these notches, little notch you can see at the end of the ring there, those uh, get surrounded by this little dot. You can see that, little dot inside there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line that ring up with that dot and then kind of slowly work it around, it's actually a pin more than a dot. Um, so now, when you squeeze your piston down, or piston rings down, they are uh, surrounding that pin. So we're all good, we've got those uh, all done. I've, I've cleaned up the top of the piston, got the carbon off. Um, we've got this uh, rod bearing that's uh, gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna uh, kinda lube it up, 
just use some uh, assembly lube here and slide that right into the rod like that. One thing to know, there's a little arrow on the top of the uh, piston right there. That goes down towards the exhaust. Once you get everything lined up, you just push the piston pin in like that. Kind of got to give it a wiggle sometimes to get it in there. You want to get it in enough, I use a, use a screwdriver, so that you can see the channel where your piston clip is going to go in there. What, I, what I'm talking about is this guy. We're going to slide that into there so that pin won't work its way out. There's one already installed on the other side. To get this uh, piston pin clip in, I've got uh, the little um, clip here. This is a G clip, so I, I can grab. Um, and I'm going to turn towards the G, so like so that it's not going to stick on this end. You got the rounded end for it to roll on. So slide it in there and turn. Sometimes you got to come back around and grab it. Sometimes this takes more than one one try. So just take take your time, be patient. Very important to get this right. There we go, see how it clipped? You can see that in there. And then one thing you wanna do is make sure that it turns real nice and easy so that you know that it's in there. And I get this, you've got this little gap here. I moved the, the gap on the G-clip away from there, so there we go exactly the way it needs to be done. Okay, so I'm ready to install my top end. I've got this uh, assembly lube. I'm just gonna spray this inside the cylinder. Just coat it, I'm gonna spray some on the spark, on the piston here. I'm gonna spray some on the crankshaft. That way it's nice and lubed before the oil gets to it. It's gonna smoke like a wild banshee though. Um, then kind of, you know, work the lube inside the cylinder. And of course the exhaust goes down and you're gonna have to compress the piston rings. So once I get the uh, cylinder on, remember those those rings have to be in their little spot there, um, in, their, in those pins like I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna get those lined up. Okay, so I got the bottom one lined up and the top one. And then you can grab from the sides to compress them and just give it a little wiggle. Should go on real nice and easy, no forcing in any way. Um, I'm gonna watch out for this gasket. I get up close. If it's in the way, just kind of work with it so you're not pinching it down. All right. So there we go, now I'll move it around. Just a, a little bit here, just to make sure nothing's hitting or binding up or in any way. That feels really good. And then, I put a new gasket here. And uh, see that rounded corner there? Let me move this over. You got a rounded corner there, rounded corner there. Line that up. All right, now we can put our uh, or nuts on there and then torque them to spec. Specs are different for different models. The other thing I did was uh, I got a new spark plug because the other one wasn't reaching the combustion chamber. Because this is a new plug, I wanna make sure that when I turn it over, nothing's binding in any way. So it's, it's gonna be a much more efficient motor now because this uh, the, all the combustion was happening in the spark plug hole. Now it's in the combustion chamber, so we're good there. So I'll get these tightened down real quick. So now I have uh, it all together. I'm putting my finger over the spark plug hole, make sure we're building pressure, which I can feel it. Um, and then, uh, remember the spark plug's a lot longer. Um, this is the spark plug they call for stock. But once you do like the Polini top end, the spark plug's not long enough. So just make sure that uh, if you're going to put a different plug in, just make sure you're checking it to make sure it's um, 
can actually work out for you. Okay, now I'm just going to turn it over and make sure we have no binding whatsoever. You always want to do this, it's turn it over a bunch of times just to make sure. You can feel the compression though, it's it's good. Alright, now we'll put the, uh, the covers on here. So, here is uh, this cover. This is the cooling cover, the fans. Uh, you know, I've got another cover for the side here. It sends air through and uh, out through here, so it cools the motor. And then I'm going to attach it with these eight millimeter bolts here. Okay, so now we'll just put our uh, the last bit of our fan cover on here, just like that. We got some bolts. 8 millimeter bolts. Okay, uh, last step here is to uh, install this exhaust system. So, I've got the uh, a gasket here, and then you just slide it up. It's just pretty self-explanatory. Slide it up. Get uh, one of your exhaust nuts on there, 10 millimeter. Normally I do like one exhaust nut to try to get it set up. And then uh, got a spacer with an Allen. There you go. And same thing on the bottom. And then crank these down. So here it is, we're done. Motor rebuilt. Ready for install. All right, well I appreciate you guys watching uh, the build. Uh, if you find it helpful, uh, head over to our uh, Patreon account, become a member. Uh, appreciate everything, thanks for subscribing and see you in the next video.